Yeah, let's not have an intro. We're just going to start back in. Okay. If you do not remember, because it's been a couple of days, Donny, uh, our tears have been... They showed up and fought for no reason. Atrocious. Bad. Just funny. Good enough. Good. And basically perfect. Yeah. I realize there's like an argument to be made that some of the ones in basically perfect should just be in good. But I think like... Uh, if it, an intro doesn't need to actually be, like, the best thing ever to go into basically perfect. It just needs to be, like, how else are you going to do it? Like, Metal Sonic Zero, that's not, like, the most exciting intro, but it's really just the best way to do it. Metal Sonic's an asshole, and Zero's sent to take they take him out. Like, it's simple, it's concise, it fits both characters perfectly. It doesn't need to tell an epic story, it just kind of fits, you know? Mm -hmm. So, let's keep that I in know. mind. As we go into Aquaman versus Namor. Uh, Namor is chilling at a public swimming pool when Aquaman cannonballs in and gets him wet. And Namor's like, oh, you're a dickhead. And Aquaman's like, no, you. And then they fight to the death. Imagine trying to kill somebody over getting wet when you're literally the submariner. I mean, Namor's also like a sub decent guy, so. Yeah. Because it's like, on one hand, that's like nothing to Namor. That's like may as well be the same as being in like normal air. On the other hand, Namor is such a fucking petty asshole. He's such a dick. Just he's got massive micro penis energy. Yeah. I feel like he would have had the same reaction a bit if, of an oxymoron, if, but... if Aquaman like dropped a massive fart and he was like, "You dare fart on the Prince of Blood," and then he would start the fight over that. Like that's Namor would do that. He pulls out his side B motorcycle, leaves it there, extends the hitbox, and hits him with the TOD. Wario players know what that means. I, I was I was trying to figure what that had to do with Namor, but now that you said that, okay. That makes more sense now. I was trying to think, Namor has never been in any fighting game. What are you on about? I mean, he might have been. I, I did make that no he's he's been in um the 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 the, the mobile fighting game for Marvel but no Ultimate one likes Alliance? That game. one of them there's multiple yeah there's three I think the name was in at least one of them but you know who gives a shit um I think the intro is it's funny just because Aquaman doesn't give a shit about Namor's crap yeah. I think just funny. I think funny is the tier I'd put it in. Yeah. I think that's about the best we can do. Mega Man Battle Royale. I'm just going to be honest. I didn't even need to describe it. They just showed up and fought for no reason. Yeah, they just showed up and fight. I don't think there is a, like, a good reason you could give that all of these guys would fight each other. Considering that uh, Geo Stellar and Volna, and, and sorry, and EXE are friends, and Soa X and Classic, I mean, at, that's outside of the games, but... X knows of yeah. classic well, and Volna I mean, knows of both of them. That neither X or Rock are strictly pacifists, but they also don't particularly like fighting, and they really don't like killing. I mean, I would say depending on the game, X almost is an outright pacifist, but that does depend on which game. Yeah, because it's like being an outright pacifist would, would denote that he's not willing to fight at all. Which, I mean, if he had it his way, he wouldn't, but he is still willing to fight when he needs to fight. Mm. It's it's more so just he does not enjoy fighting and he does not want to kill anybody. Yeah, I'm I'm really not sure how else you could do the battle. I mean, you guys can like leave your suggestions down below, but I think like with this lineup of Mega Men, like if you change the lineup, you could probably think of something. But with this lineup, like X and Classic don't like fighting. Volnut, I'm pretty sure, is aware of X and Classic, and Exe and Geo Stellar are, are like they're their mates, so. It's j it's yeah. it's like it, it's not really easy to come up with a reason for them to all fight unless you say oh they all got hacked and that's ah, that's kind of lame and also a little yeah, bit especially hard especially when one of them's whole gimmick is uh yeah when one of their whole gimmicks with having the mother elf is you know being beyond hacking that also just kind of doesn't make sense yeah. All right, we have Black Widow versus Widowmaker. Black Widow is escorting a guy, and she just really f***s it up when, Black, when Widowmaker blows his brains out, and then they kill each other. Yeah, I mean, reason <laughs> yeah. enough. I say, like, the only 
thing that's a little weird is, I mean, is Black Widow really that careless that she never considered, oh, there could be a sniper? Um, but... No, absolutely not. I, I think for the sake of having the fight start without, like, a five-minute rigmarole about how Widowmaker avoided Black Widow's solutions to that problem, uh, it's fine. Yeah, I think it's, it's basically, what else are you gonna do? They but they have conflicting jobs and Black Widow is like you killed the guy I was escorting. Yeah. That's that's a blight on my honor. I gotta, I gotta take yeah. you out. I mean, it could have also been as simple as like Natasha actually gets dude to where he needs to go. He gets away and then turns around and is like, "All right, I I know you've been hiding trying to snipe this guy. You thought you could get past me, but you know, yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to take you in." Mm. Either way, one of them is going to inevitably look a little less competent than the other. So I guess, because Widowmaker does end up f***ing dying, letting her take the W at the start, uh, I, uh, yeah, as opposed to if she just utterly failed to get the job done and then also died as well. Mm -hmm. So I think for the sake of making Widowmaker not look completely incompetent, um, it's about the best you could do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sort of like if they both had the same target to kill someone, but Black Widow is no longer in that line of business, so I think it's fine to not focus on her time as straight up hit woman and more on mm -hmm. her more protective job in Shield and shit like that, and the Avengers. So I, it's yeah. it's going in one of the top two tiers, I think. While there are other options, um, this is probably the best one to not make Widowmaker look completely useless at everything. Which she might as well be. Yeah. Being as she is from Overwatch. But. There's something really funny about the top tier here being called Basically Perfect and having both Overwatch episodes in it. <laughs> mm. Considering the reputation that both episodes have. Yeah, this is the only time that'll be levied towards them in the context <laughs> of a death battle. <laughs> Yeah, and Guts Nightmare is up here too, which is like... And Carnage Lucy on a tier list that I made being up in the top tier. What is this blasphemy? Alright, we have Captain Marvel versus Shazam. Shazam is a dickhead and electrocutes an ATM, and then it spits out money, and Captain Marvel is a presumptuous asshole who just assumes that Shazam intended to do that and decides to beat him up for it, and Shazam runs, and that just makes him more sus. So, I'll note that Carol is the same person that, on literally the uh, one in possibly infinite chance that a teenager was going to commit a crime or assault someone, decided to take him in then and there. Yeah, I think we, like, I Where think... Where it's like, uh... <laughs> Carol Like, is... that's a well-established part. Like, that's an infamous moment for her character as well, Miles. This dude who can see pretty much any possible future said that there's a non-zero chance that you do something bad and he's like what yeah but that non-zero chance could also be like slim to none so why and she's like mm, doesn't matter go to jail yeah i i think on carol's side she is that kind of obnoxiously stupid and annoying that she would just be like ah got you now head that was intentional by it seen by the fact that you intended to do it Mm. And on, on like Shazam's side, yeah, he can be pretty immature and stupid. So I, I can see him accidentally. I feel, like, I feel like you wouldn't just go around town f throwing lightning bolts just no, out randomly. I feel like if it was just like coming off his body as like just like, like accidental instead of intentionally shooting lightning bolts, it would be a bit. Mm. And I don't know if he would just immediately run away. When confronted, unless she, like, directly attacked him. No, if she directly attacked him, he'd fucking lay her out. But, like, I feel like he'd be like, no, no, hold on, let me explain. Instead of just, oh, I'm just gonna dip. Like, even if he, like, was doing anything else physically, and then just, like, overshot his own strength and accidentally just, like, cracked the ATM in half, and then he was just over it while it was spewing money. If he would make more if he sense. fucking sneezed a lightning bolt. <laughs> if yeah. he just fucking sneezed and accidentally blasted the ATM doing that. 
like, I think Captain Marvel's side is basically like, yeah, she would do that, but in Shazam's case, it is a little... He is immature. The more you think about it, I guess, shooting lightning like that, bit off, and running, like, the way he did, bit off. Um, for, like, his overall characterization. There's probably, like, times in the comics where he is like that, but... Mm-hmm. I'd say I'd say it's good enough. It's not outright yeah, bad. Wario versus DDD. They showed up and fought for no reason. That is what happens. But but in the context, it is a cage fight, so they're just there because they're heads. And context is given that Wario did fart in DDD's face, and DDD did mug him off as well. Yeah, well, Wario also fucking stole his his wheels, didn't he? That was, I think... They both stole from each other. I think DDD took his yeah. wheels. So, so, while it is explained later in the fight, there is at least a reason for them to actually have beef. Yeah. And uh, bo- on both ends, it comes from them just being greedy assholes, which is pretty in character. Yeah. I think it's funny. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Ben 10 vs. Green Lantern. Ben 10 is running around, and then the best looking guy in a Sector 2814 shows up and is like, no, 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 I want your watch. And Ben's like, f*** off, cunt. And then blows him away, and then he gets back up and they fight to the death. The equivalent of a, of a fucking police officer coming down and seeing a kid with a nuclear bomb strapped to his <laughs> bag and be like, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. And he's like, no, I'll fucking, I'll set it off. I'll do it. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> no, come try to take it. I dare you. And then I'm the one with the nuclear bomb. And, and he's like, I mean, fucking fair enough. And then the cop just does it anyway and takes it. The cop's like, oh yeah, well, I have a smaller but equally as powerful nuclear bomb, so. <laughs> yeah. And um, they both died, and no one ever questioned the outcome. I guess in, in this case, this is more one for you to comment on. I think in House Sight, this is perfectly fine. Um, he is kind of pragmatic that way. If he's in, like, a certain mood, he will just be all business and just, alright, give that to me. I don't yeah, know if he'd kill uh, a kid for, for it. For Ben, but... Ben's not above f***ing mugging off to authorities if he thinks he's being falsely imprisoned. At the same time, if if someone comes along and is like, hey, I'm the f***ing space police, I'm gonna need to take that from you, and then it just can't be removed, Ben's probably at least going to explain, yeah, I mean, even if I wanted to take this thing off, it's like stuck on my wrist, I can't do that. Rather than being like, oh yeah, uh, forearms. <laughs> so, where would you rank it? You're the you're the Ben Ten guy. That's what uh, that's what you do. You're you're you're, you're Ben Ten. I I am Ben Ten in real life. Um, I I would rank this at good enough. I think the concept of the fight starting because Ben has this thing fits well in line enough both with the kind of shit Green Lantern does and with the kind of shit that happens in Ben 10 all the time I think just the specific characterization of Ben here is a little off mm. Weiss versus Mitsuru do I just make a tier for uh cause this is not even they just showed up and fought yeah. for no reason this is they just they didn't show up and fight for no reason they were already fighting <laughs> yeah it starts it starts mid fight I'm just gonna, how do how do what's the onomatopoeia for uh? Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, shrug emoji. I don't know. I I, I can't f- copy paste the shrug emoji. All right, Johnny Cage is Captain Falcon. Jonathan Cage is like doing a promo for a movie and says some shit, and Captain Falcon takes it completely the wrong way and decides to pick a fight over it. And Johnny Cage just kind of goes along with it because you know that's what happens in Mortal Kombat. It's like, oh, I'm going to fight you. Um, okay. Now, it is yeah. it is a Tuesday, so, I mean, I have gone about five seconds without a fight to the death, so, yeah, this is fine. 
It's like, what, you're, you're you're not gonna try to, like, talk me down? We're not gonna, like... There's not, not gonna be any dialogue? He's like, listen, it's called Mortal Kombat, not Mortal Civil Discussion or Mortal Come to Terms Peacefully. It's Mortal Kombat. You ask me to fight, I'm obliging, bro. Let me tell you, Captain Falcon, all your jokes land flat, you've got a stupid hat, and frankly, that scarf doesn't suit you. And you know what else? Uh, your buttons are placed on your shirt in a way that looks like nipples. No one cares about you outside of Super Smash Bros. Uh, and Falcon Punch isn't even real. In fact, none of his moves are. He's like, oh, it, sh it showed up in the anime. Anime is not real either. Yeah. You your best move canonically is drive in a straight line. Which, to be fair, works more often than not. Yeah, in a race, but not really in a fight. Yeah, I can't if, he, if he just f***ing <laughs> full speed, just like vehicular manslaughter okay, black shadow. that's not a fight, though. That's not a fight. That is a murder. <laughs> what if Black Shadow punches the car? Well, that's still not a fight. That's just... That's an idiot and a murder of an idiot. I don't know. I, I feel hmm. like you could classify it as a fight. I would not call that a fight. If you watched a death... If you were, if they retconned Joker Sweet Tooth, they just deleted it, and they re-uploaded it, and the entire thing was just a still shot of Sweet... of Needle swinging the machete, it hits the Joker Mobile for about a frame, and then he just explodes into blood. You wouldn't call that a fight. <laughs> you, 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 you would maybe, probably... Maybe you... You would probably prefer it to the original episode, because at least it'd be funny and short. <laughs> Why do we keep coming back around to Sweet Tooth just suffering? Because <laughs> last time, last time, last time we had him being hunted by Kratos, and now we have him fucking taking a swing and then just getting hit with fucking Mirror Force or something and just up getting obliterated. Anything Needles would do against Captain Falcon, just like they just have a race. <laughs> Yeah, he's just driving in his ice cream truck and this f***ing, like, Mach 20 blue falcon comes in doing its Beyblade spin and fucking demolishes him, just atomizes him. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Story over. Oh, I- I started- like he, he gets it- he gets into his big f***ing ice cream truck mech and blows up the blue falcon. Cat the falcon jumps out of it and then starts running just as fast as he was driving. He's just, oh sh**! What? No, 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 no! He starts trying to run away in the Big Mac, and Captain Falcon just f***ing raptor boosts, and then just, uh, f***ing, like, jumping command grabs him. <laughs> this needle's getting bullied is just funny. <laughs> like, I, uh... in his own verse, he's a really f***ing menacing, because he's a serial killer, but against these people with f***ing godly powers, he's just like, oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I, uh, I started uh, getting back to watching Gamera Rebirth after a while, and there's a scene where he like kills a kaiju by just Beyblade spinning, and I'm just imagining like that is the Blue Falcon, and the other guy is, is the f***ing sweet bot just getting cleaved in half. Just crotch up, pfft, done. That's the whole yeah, fight. Yeah, more or less. Like, the f***ing Blue Falcon is spinning towards him, and, like, Needles hits it with a missile, but all it does is tilt it, so now it's going vertically instead of horizontally. And he's just like, I have not improved the situation at all! I imagine Needles crawls out of the rubble of his machine. He's like, ugh! Fuck, I give up, I give up. Falcon punch! <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 no! He just gets like launched, he, he gets launched across like eight cities. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least the good news is with the Falcon punch, he doesn't need to worry about his skull getting put out. <laughs> you know, yeah. there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's an upside to every down. You know, every time something goes yeah. down, the other side of the seesaw goes up. Yeah, no one's ever fucking said that, but <laughs> pretend that's like a saying. Uh, Captain Falcon versus Johnny Cage, I don't think is a very good reason for them to fight. I think for Johnny's end it makes sense, but I don't, I don't think Captain Falcon would fight someone over that. 
No, I think it, Captain if Falcon. If someone's like, I'm gonna be the next Captain Falcon, he'd probably just be like, no. Exactly wrong. <laughs> That's just what it's all he says, and the battle's over. There's no no fight. Yeah, he's he's like, what do you, what, no? The next captain, I get to choose the next Captain Falcon because I'm Captain Falcon. Who I, who are you? I don't know you. <laughs> Imagine if instead of his actual line at the end after he kills Johnny, he's just like, I've been Falcon your mom. And that's how the episode ends. <laughs> It'd be the fucking lamest shit ever, but that does fit in line with NRS. <laughs> I like how that just genuinely gave you pause. You just froze. Like, I could hear the buffering in your I head. I thought about it. I'm like, I don't know. That's that's pretty dumb. And then I thought about the line. Is it true, Kenshi? Is what true, Cage? Are your nuts truly numb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to process some information before you could figure that one out. All right. Johnny, <laughs> Johnny Cage was Captain Fa I mean, it's funny. How funny is it, though? It is funny. I think it's funny. I think it goes in funny tier. They, they did a gaff with that. I think funny tier is valid. All right, Ung versus Edward Elric. Ang is flinging around Momo or something, and he's like, "Wow, Momo, you're little." And then Edward Elric, who was fucking loitering behind like a a decapitated headstand, gets up like, "Oh, you calling the little pip squeak? I'll kick your fucking ass!" And then they fight. Yeah, you know how Edward Elric sounds. <laughs> yeah, that's Edward Elric. I mean, what, what did I tell you? I've seen the, I I've, I've seen the dub. Yeah, uh, yeah. Obviously, like this is one of the biggest issues people have with it is that they use short jokes too much. Where it's like that being the setup is dumb. It could be like I don't know. Like Ed is going after some sort of artifact. Ang has it, and Ang's like, "Well, I don't. Fuck you. you could be with the Fire Nation. I don't fucking trust you with this." And Ed's like, "I'll fight you for it. I'll beat the shit out of you and take that by force if I need to." <laughs> Ang's like, "I don't want that," and it was like too bad. He's like, I don't want that, but I'm still not giving you this rock. He's like, I'm, all right. <laughs> I mean, you brought this on yourself. And then he dies. <laughs> He's like, all right, kid. Get rid of Avatar State. <laughs> <laughs> on second thought, you can have the rock. Goodbye. <laughs> the Avatar State is useful. All right, Ghost Rider yeah, versus. Yeah, this reason sucks. I just put it in atrocious during that whole bit. <laughs> like it's one of the worst. Ghost Rider Lobo makes it, it like it's perfect. I I haven't even done my like sarcastic little description of what happens yet, Don. Uh, you don't need to. It's perfect. Lobo finishes up <laughs> murdering Grimace McDonald, which is why Grimace is not going to show up in the McDonald's anime. And then Ghost Rider shows up like, oi, oi, can't fuck you. And he also blows up Grimace, and Lobo's like, Well, see, now we got a problem! And then they fight. Man, speaking of Wickdonald's, which I still don't understand that naming convention, uh, I only learned about it today because I was ordering some, and I saw it on the bag. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, Studi Studio Piero is making a McDonald's You didn't anime. know that? And then someone... Oh, well, yeah, somehow. I guess it must have been announced recently, because I figured it out. I found out today. I swear to uh, God, I messaged you about on... it. Maybe, I, maybe I'm maybe i also gassed. I've also just gassed myself into thinking I've already talked to you about it, and I didn't. You very well may have, but that also sounds like the kind of thing that, like, you know, we would have talked about by now. Yeah. Um. I swear, I, I would have said something but... like, isn't it weird that they're making an anime and Ronald's not going to be in it? And I swear, you're like, yeah, well, no, that is a bit that's, weird. That's not that weird, really. Um, because they haven't put Ronald, like, front and center in marketing for, like, ten years. Probably more. Um, but... <laughs> One of Ronald it, cameos is, like, the god of that world. It, it would be funny. But that's the thing, is I've seen a lot of people say, Oh, you know, this is gonna be big bust for Ronald McDonald. I'm like, one, Ronald's not gonna be in it. Don't, don't get your hopes up, he's not gonna be in it. And two, even if he was... There is like a zero percent chance of doing anything that outclasses what he already has. Yeah, I think like the best like if they go the route of haha he's a god, uh, which they're not going to, that's gonna at best get to uni, and there's already arguments for that like some of the stuff he does is uni. Yeah. I will say it's it's really fascinating that they teamed up with an actual anime studio. They've actually got like you know 
the Japanese characters and stuff all all done correct. At least it seems to be. Um, and they're going to have weekly installments of the little manga printed on, which like it's nothing crazy. It's just people being like, "Oh my god, it's the new McDonald's sauce." It's, it's the greatest sauce of all time. It's going to save the human race. And then they all talk about how good it is. I'm like, I'm sure that's what it's going to be week to week. But the idea of a weekly manga <laughs> that comes with a McDonald's order is so fascinating to me. You know, it's funny. The anime is probably going to be better than season two of Devil is a Part-Timer. So. I mean, from what I've heard, that's not a high bar to clear. No, I, I've watched like three episodes of it, and I was just thinking, man, I really like this story in the manga. What exactly have they done? What have they done? <laughs> very, very disappoint. All personalities gone. Maybe I should watch it in the dub. Maybe I should watch it in the dub because Devil's a Part Timer has a really fun dub in the first season. Maybe, maybe they continued the energy in that one. Mm. Who knows? All right, Dragons of Visit Kitty You. That's just going in the White Smith City two tiers. <laughs> They're fighting for some reason, I'm sure. Sasuke Hiei. Hiei is taking a stroll, and Sasuke, knowing full well that he is indeed a Naruto character, is like, hold on, you're not allowed to be here, <laughs> and they fight over that. Because of fucking course they do. Why else would a Naruto character Listen, fight someone? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Why is this such a recurring thing? Because I do not remember this being a thing at all. With a, start, uh, with a fight starting along the lines of, this is forbidden grounds, you can't be here. And they're like, okay, well, I'll fucking kill you then. I bet there's gonna be someone in the comments like, I never noticed that with all the Naruto episodes. <laughs> yeah, it's not just death battle, because it's one minute melee does it too, mm. and I'm I'm sure at least ADBX has done it, and I'm sure other Versus shows have done it as well. And it's not even just Naruto, because Lucario did it too. Yeah. I feel like there's gotta be a not death battle in the future where I have a Naruto character be like, this is sacred ground, the other guy's like, no, it's not. The Naruto guy's like, ah, shit, I'm in the wrong place. And then they fight anyway. It's like, this is sacred ground within the Hidden Leaf Village. It's like, what? What? What is the Hidden Leaf Village? What are you talking about? Hidden Leaf Village? This, is, like, what are you... this is f***ing Canada, mate. <laughs> and they're like, what? What is Canada? <laughs> it's the village with a leaf. And both of, both of them, like, they, they check around, they're like, no, this does check out to be both Konoha <laughs> and Canada. Somehow, like, this doesn't make any sense. I mean, you this know, is non-Euclidean. Konoha, I don't like this. Konoha, Canada. I mean, it could just be Canada with a Japanese accent, for all you know. Unlikely, the characters would not be the same. <laughs> Alright, what do we think of Sasuke Hiei? I think... I mean, I'm going to be honest, if it really was Sacred Ground, I could absolutely see Sasuke being like that. And I could also absolutely see Hiei just going, I'm not allowed to be here, I, I don't give a shit. That's not my fucking well, see, problem. Sacred ground, schmacred ground, he's a fucking demon. <laughs> exactly. Any, any, anywhere he goes by default is somewhere he probably shouldn't be. Yeah. And to be honest, Sasuke really is just that guy who's gonna be like, you're not allowed to be here. They yeah. say no, and he's like, well, I wasn't expecting that, uh, fuck you. You're not allowed to be here. Uh, why? Because I decided I don't like you and I'm gonna fight you um, if you don't leave. It's like, what? Why? He's like, I don't know. I just needed a reason to fight someone. Uh, I, I need to keep up my appearances. I don't know. You're a demon. Uh, that makes it sound a bit racially motivated there. Yeah, well, I mean, if you die, there'll be no one to sort of reveal that. So, you know. Uh, yeah, for your information, I've helped save this worthless world a number of times. Not all demons are bad. Oh, but you did say worthless. <laughs> I, I think that's reason to kill. Me, me thinks, yep. Got you. Yeah, yeah, me, me thinks that's valid reason, so, um, Amaterasu. <laughs> Immediately jumps to Amaterasu. You don't, you don't understand I'm a good guy. I mean, yeah, that's a cool argument, all Indra's arrow. I really want to put it in basically perfect, because it does fit the characters just being obstinate assholes. But with the fact that this is, what, the second Naruto episode to do this, and it's not going to be the last, there's a ton of them. There's, like, two others where that happens. Um, I feel like i got to put in just good. Mm. If it fits them. Where it's like, honestly, because I thought about it earlier today, or, er, yeah, today, 
because the idea of Kakashi Gojo came up. I mean, it's a, it's been a long-standing idea, but I uh, I thought of it earlier today, and I'm like, okay, so how would the start of that fight go? I'm like, in all likeliness, <laughs> uh, someone in Konoha would have sent Kakashi to intercept Gojo because while his you know reputation for being powerful and being cool and whatever is well known, his reputation for not obeying authority and generally stirring shit up that doesn't need to be stirred up is also well known. And they're like, hey, Kakashi, uh, this dude's probably gonna make a lot of trouble if he gets to where he needs to go, so, um, go stop him. And he's like, yeah, alright. Kakashi, can you go commit, can you go commit, can you go commit, kick his ass? Yeah, it's like, at the very least, can you just, like, go fucking stall him until this thing is over so he doesn't get involved and ruin everything. It's like slap him up a little bit, you know, give him give him a bit of a one give him a one two. Just three D print a, a one a and a two and hand it to him. Have there been any Naruto episodes that don't take place in a Naruto location? Um Like aside from ones which aren't which are like so neutral, like Naruto Ichigo, where it's like that for all we fucking know, that could take place in the world of fucking Godzilla. Yet, yeah, I mean, a lot of them are just, like, a forest, or a near a forest. Like, Sasuke Hiei is meant to be like, ah, oh, this is, like, Sasuke territory. Roshi Jiraiya is meant to be like, ah, oh, Jiraiya owns this place. Um, just going... Yeah, f- I mean, through. pretty much none of them are set in an actual Naruto location. They're all just vaguely forest or desert. Yeah, that's... Isn't that weird? Every, like, most Naruto episodes both take place in a place that's meant to be Naruto, but also a place so generic it couldn't be Naruto. That's the thing, is that the only one I can think of with a defined location from either place is Roshi Jiraiya, where they go to fucking Kame House. But, like, that's meant to be... That's, the beach is meant to be, like, this is where Jiraiya lives and works and shit. Get this fucking kaiju off my house! Yeah, I don't wanna, don't wanna fucking go sit down to have a frothy I'm... glass of water watching my porn and just look up to see a giant frog ass. I'm gonna put your frog in a pot. <laughs> I wonder what he did with that pot after. Yeah, no, 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 one ever, no one ever thinks about that. What did he do after that? Uh, he probably put it on a shelf or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, hey, Master Roshi, is this like, who who did you see? Did I miss a villain? I was like, nah, it's just a big frog. <laughs> like, why do you have it in the pot? He's like, yeah, he almost sat on my house. He almost? He did. No, nah, I stopped him. He did, though. Like, he did sit on the house. House is broken. I went back and stopped him. <laughs> Roshi can't do that. Yeah, he can. He's Roshi. He his ultra, do... his ultra instinct is so good. He ultra instincted before anything happened and went back and stopped it from happening. Right. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna ask if when what is gonna come first between a Naruto episode that actually does take place in an identifiable Naruto location or a Naruto episode which takes place in what's meant to be the other character's location. But I just forgot that Rock Lee versus Sanji exists. That just takes place on like docks. It's meant to. Like, it's like, meant like, to be Sanji's. It. Yeah, Sanji doesn't have a restaurant. That's he not does a now. thing. Yeah, but like if it took place on a boat, that would actually probably lead to some well, really creative well, that's the thing. choreography. Now I think is that it, but... the the only restaurant we know Sanji to have worked at is a boat. That would have actually probably led to some really, like, unique choreography to be taking place on a boat over open we, water. we meet Sanji on the floating restaurant Baratier. That's, like, his place. It's, it, it is That's a boat. That's his place. That's where Sanji does the Sanji thing, you know? It's not in this weird fucking port town. It should have been four kids, Sanji. Like, Rock Lee should have been like, this curry, this curry is too mild. And Sanji's like, hey, this is your problem, movie host. <laughs> yeah, he goes lollipop. You're mild. Something's biting. Have you seen my polywog pal? I still can't get over the fact that Rock Lee cries about mild curry. His canonical favorite food is mild curry. What the fuck? <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that he spent more time drunk than he did sober or in any of the gates. I know! It's, it's just, it's so fucking funny. I mean, not like- I still can't get over that a lot of, because like, my complaint about Rock Lee's performance is just that, uh, like, uh, you could tell RDC has a passion for the character, but he's just not much of a voice actor. 
uh, where a lot of people said, oh, he sounds like the wrong ethnicity. I'm like, excuse me? What, what is he supposed to sound like? Like, what do you mean he sounds like the wrong ethnicity? I think you're just a racist, my guy. I think you're just bigoted. It's, it, it's literally just that the performance is not good. Yeah. Yeah. But that said, like, the, the deliveries on Sanji's ends are also really fucking weird. I'll make you spit up whatever you've already eaten. Yeah, what well, I mean, that's why it should have been the four kids, Sanji. Because if it was that voice doing that delivery, it'd be perfect. Because I'd be like, yeah, I could hear him saying it that way. Badly. If and when we get Crocodile on Death Battle, I hope he quotes his famous four kids quote, uh, looks like your desert doo-doo. <laughs> He, sa- he says directly after fucking impaling Luffy and leaving him to die. <laughs> I mean, they had to they had to try and soften the scene somehow, I guess. But yeah, uh, Rock Lee Sanji. Uh, wait, no, what we're are not we up at? there. We're yet. at Ganon Dracula. We're at Ganondorf versus Dracula. That's the name. Uh, Ganondorf walks up to his car. Oh yeah, to his sorry, castle. my bad. Ganondorf Dragmire. Ganondorf walks up to the castle and it's like, oi. Matthew, whatever your name is, I want this. And then Dracula's like, "Fuck you, you fucking dick!" And they fight. He's like, "Ha ha ha! I am the Lord of Evil. I have the magic triangle. This castle's mine." And he goes, "Try the new crispy chicken pretzel fries only at Burger King. A juicy chicken inside, crispy pretzel outside." And I was like, "What the fuck are you even talking about?" And they fight. He goes, what is a man? Nothing but a miserable pile of secrets. He's like, I, I feel like there's a script that you're following that I wasn't given. I feel like <laughs> there's a bit I'm supposed to be playing along with, but I, I don't get it. <laughs> it is, it is, it is weird. Like, like, because like he, he does say no man can challenge my power. And Jack is like, but what is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. And yeah, yeah, okay, so maybe no man can match your power, but really think about it. If you think about, oh, by definition, what is a man? What even is a man? You're thinking way too hard about this. I was just trying to sound cool, okay? It was not by my hand that I was once again given flesh. I was brought here by humans that wished to pay me tribute. What, oh, what are you talking about? And what is a human? We don't have those. What, a, a huge, what, like a Hylian? Like the Kokiri? Funny little ear guys? I mean, I got funny little ears too. Yeah, do you, like do ears. you mean the ones with pointy ear? Do you mean like, what, I don't, like a h- human Hylian, it kind of sounds similar, but for uh, you could be talking about Zoras, could oh, be like for, fish for, people. For, for, know. You know, you mean like the fat rock guys, is that what you mean? I mean, they could be a pile of secrets, yeah, could but, be golden, they might never looked. He's like, I guess your ears are pointy. You kind of look like a Kokiri if it was, like, really old. But I think all of them... Oh, okay, shields okay, or something. okay there. You walk into my castle, make fun of my script, and then you start being racist in front of me? Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's a little bit inappropriate. And I... Yeah, I see I, your argument, but I, I, I'm I, have, even I have just one word in counter-argument. I just have one word to say to you. Yeah. But that's hardly a word. That's more of like a grunt. And oh shit! That's how it's Fight forward smash. That's how the started. You know, we just role played the whole bit. I don't know why we did that and why we. What is a man? Why Nothing but a miserable in, pile of Doria. <laughs> it's just I Gandalf coming in like no ma- no mere man can challenge my power. That's a weird line. You know, that is a weird thing for Gandalf to just up and say. Just for no reason. And then, uh, clearly, probably knowing that Dracula's not even a mere man. And then Dracula re- replying to that with like, Ooh, ooh, he said man, I can say the thing. <clears throat> but what Dracula is a man? visibly is not a regular man. I mean, yeah, just take one fucking look at him. Look at his fucking face. He is very clearly not just an average dude. They bring Richter to death battle and like he's fighting some fucking human dude. It's just like, die monster, you don't belong in this world. He's like, what? What? Who, who are you? What do you mean? He's like, tribute, you steal men's souls. 
He's like, who the fuck? Who are you? <laughs> I feel like like there is a chance that Richter will just say that if he gets in a death battle. The, the, the dying monster, you don't belong in this world part. Just given how they forced yeah. in Drac... Like, I know people like to make fun of Obito Kakashi... Obito Kakashi? Obi-Wan Kakashi for forcing all those prequel references. I don't think a single one of them is yeah, as Yeah, I forced. remember when I was watching Naruto Shippuden and Obito and Kakashi started fighting during the war arc and they started quoting <laughs> the Star Wars prequels. It really took me out of the moment. It was like, like you know, it didn't happen in the manga. I thought it was really weird Piero would add that in there. You know, Don, why don't you just consume your funny little lamp? Which one? I have, like, fucking six lamps down here. But what is a lamp? A miserable little pile of secrets. Ganondorf Dracula is... Works Weird. well enough. I think, I it's, think it's, it's, it's... It's good. Like, the concept is perfect. The execution with just the very forced dialogue... A bit off. If they really wanted to force in a reference to that, like, iconic... Well, yeah, it's iconic, that iconic scene. I think the whole enough talk, have at you, would have been easier to work in naturally. Yeah. I, like, just Ganondorf's, like, fucking waffling on about how fucking good he is, and Gaffer's like, hey, you, 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 shut the fuck up, let's just, I'm just gonna kick your ass, alright? Hey, shut the fuck up, chaos magic. Yeah, no, I've played, like... All your games and hearing you actually speak with like a voice, it, it that don't work for me. All right, fuck off. Yeah, Zelda characters don't talk. Yeah, uh, just ignore Breath of the Wild and all that. Uh, mob versus Tatsumaki. Mob is walking. The city is fucked. Apparently, not that we can tell why. Tatsumaki's like, "Oi, you shouldn't be here." And Mob's like, "You're a child." And Tatsumaki's like, "You're dead." Yeah, she definitely would not fucking murder. I'm a, just gonna a, like straight up year old. Uh, atrocious. Not even outright bad. Yeah. Just not even just bad. It's outright atrocious because Tatsumaki's a fuck. Like she's a bitch, but she is still a hero, right? She saves people. She's just an asshole. I feel like it. I feel like even without taking Tatsumaki into account for a second, Mob is too fucking socially inept to make a comment like that to begin with. Yeah. Like at best, he'd probably be like, "Oh, my bad." Oh, sorry. It's just, it's just it... okay. I'll I'll leave. And like, if he did make that comment, I could see Tatsumaki getting angry, but she'd just get angry. She wouldn't then just thump him into the wall. And like, she's surprised that he's like okay. Like, she was going for the kill with that, or at least for some crippling injury. Like, that was that was not like a like a gag little slam min, but like use her power to somehow make sure he doesn't get too hurt. No, that was meant to fucking hurt him at work at best mm -hmm. not not good deadpool mask deadpool jumps out the side of a building with a mask falls into a bus and some guy gets the mask somehow and they fight i feel like this one's weird because it also takes into account meta reasons of like both the mask and deadpool seem to be fully aware of why they're fighting because they've been pitted together in a death battle yeah so like it's it's not necessarily they show up and fight but it's also not anything complex either it's they're fighting because they were written to fight. I can't even put it in funny. They're fighting it, because that's that's what they are showing up to do. I can't really put it in funny because like it's not funny. No, I mean like the initial like first few seconds of the fight are pretty cool. I think all the hand drawn stuff is pretty neat. That's looking. the fight though. We're not ranking the fights. Otherwise, this would be a lot less interesting a tier list because it would be everyone else's. Yeah, the same I tier know, else does. but I wanna. <laughs> I, I want to give it I its do like dues. the start of the I don't fight. Just... I think that, like, because, like, they don't yeah. even acknowledge the fourth wall stuff in the intro to the fight. Um, even though, uh, Toilet Pool is fully aware of it, and turns out Mask is too later. Mm -hmm. I think, I think it's, some, I put it in, like, good enough. Like, it's, it's fine. The, the best, the best part is and that, it's like... because they didn't analyze a specific wearer of the Mask, um, having just some rando nobody on the bus get it does kind of fit that vibe i guess yeah uh i also just like the line a lot of fucking what how did you get a hold of that oh i've been wearing it this whole time which is wrong because the continuity stone is a little more powerful than the mask but we can ignore that 
It is wrong because, but like, still in effect, it more or less allows him the same level of. Just imagine if that was like bullshit. If that was Thanos Darkseid, and he was like, "What? Where did you get that? I've been wearing it the whole time." I was like, "No, you fucking haven't," and then dies. Fuck it. He's like, "What? Why doesn't my Infinity Gauntlet work on you, yo soy big face muere?" And just shoots an Omega Beam at him. <laughs> Just, yeah, that's, that's the ending. Thanos Darkseid is like such an episode that's just like open to being made really fucking funny. Just because it is the way it is. Yeah. And now we're on the last episode of season six All Might Mike Guy. Mike Guy is reading his it's... epic mangas, and then All Might shows up, and then they have an arm wrestle, and that just extends into a friendly brawl. Hello there, big eyebrowed man. What kind of manga are you reading? Oh, I'm actually reading Food Wars. It's all the rage these days. <laughs> it's like, huh. I not wouldn't have been my first guess, but <laughs> wasn't cool. expecting good, good that. on you. <laughs> it's like I, I would have expected battle, but uh you know, I, I guess that's valid. He's like, there's no greater battle than between a chef and the meal he's preparing. <laughs> After all, food is the fuel source of youth. <laughs> um, so the actual intro itself, I think, is good. I think it's good. You know, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot more friendly than normal. It's got a lot more personality than normal. Um... I think the only thing in that whole episode that stands out as particularly weird to me is uh, fucking All Might just grabbing the, the yep, tiger. Yep, I was thinking that too. Yeah. Just catching I'm like, that thing wind. is made of wind. What do you mean he grabbed it? Wind that explodes on contact. <laughs> so it would just fucking like, explode if he did that. He, he's just built different, I guess. He's very good at catching wind, and then he punches it, so he's an expert at breaking wind, too. That's farting, Nim. <laughs> you can't trick me. You can't pull the wool over my eyes. That's a fart joke. I guess also, like, the, the final impact of the fight is a little bit lackluster, but, you know. You know, right? It's just like a... Pfft. All my dead... Uh, I'd say yeah, this, this the good. intro is basically perfect, to be honest. I don't really know how you improve it, because it is meant to be a friendly episode. And the idea of, like, Mike Guy, like, leading you into think that he's going to challenge him to a fight right away, but he's actually he's actually just wants an arm wrestle, and they only fight because, like, they get into it. And, like, you know, they, they, they enjoy having a friendly little smack around. It's, yeah. it, makes, it makes you smile. It's a very characterful intro, and we don't have too many intros that really focus that much on, like, the character traits that aren't directly tied to fight to the death. All right, yeah, we have... I think, I think... Miles versus Static. Yes, we have Spider-Man versus Static Shock. Spider-Man is swinging, and then it turns out Static Shock's shooting at him, and it turns out that they're fighting. And Spider-Man yeah, thought he was... Show, but I... there... It's weird because there's the implication of a misunderstanding, but not a lot about what that misunderstanding was. It's like, because, uh, oh, I thought you were Electro or something. I'm tempted to just put it in, uh, because it just kind of begins and they're all ready. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like, whoa, chill out, dude. He's like, what do you mean, chill out? You were attacking me. And it's like, what? Okay, so they're just fighting to fight, I guess. Yeah, it's either, it either goes in, uh, or they showed up and fought for no reason, or in bad. I don't even think it's, like, good enough, because, like, Miles and Virgil, like, they're pretty good guys. I, 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 they're so laid back, I, I struggle to really see them continuing the beef after they basically outright go. This is just a misunderstanding, you know? I will say, though, Miles is the kind of guy that carries a hamburger in his pocket, and that's a little unhinged. <laughs> I mean, okay, that doesn't really have anything to do with this, though. I don't know. That that might be the sign of a person who might throw hands with little provocation. Look, I, I'm look, just saying. look, look, look. Jo Jotaro is the kind of guy Name to wear hentai under his shirt. That doesn't mean I'm going to go, he's a bit unhinged. No, of course he just attack Henshiro. It was to block a knife. Yeah? I mean, that seems a bit of an unhinged situation. Why not just fucking move? 
Oh, well, okay. Name one sane person who you've ever known to just walk around with a hamburger in their pocket. I feel like you would. Literally just to upset me. You, you, you would come to Australia to visit I, me. I would never. And before, you, before we meet up, uh, you would leave the airport, giving me the wrong time where you'd arrive. You'd go to a McDonald's. You'd buy a hamburger. You'd come back, pretend like you just arrived, and be like, Hey, Nem, here's a hamburger. And just whip it out your pocket. Like a fucking switchblade. Like you're trying to mug me, but with a hand. Just hide it, in, you hide it in your home somewhere where you won't be able to find it, but you will be able to smell it. <laughs> and it'll be in the pocket of one of my pairs of pants. Just stuffed in the wardrobe. Like, yeah, like find a pair that has evidently not been worn in a while. I'm like, mm, that's a good hiding spot. And like five months later, I'll go, Donovan, can I ask you a question? <laughs> yeah, what's up? <laughs> Hamburger. <laughs> Uh, I would never. <laughs> That's the conversation. I would I'd, never do such a thing. Then I'd feed it to my dog, because it would not be edible. Absolutely would not be edible, but he'd love it. Black Canary versus Sindel. It's Mortal Kombat. We didn't Kombat. even establish End where we're putting... We didn't even establish where we're putting Miles static. Sorry, Spider-Man static. I want to it's annoy... It's dumb. They I, show up and fight. I, I want to annoy the people who don't like when people... When Miles gets called Spider-Man. Uh, yeah. They show up before for no reason. Black Canary Sindel. Black Canary is in a Mortal Kombat tournament, and Shao Kahn's like, Sindel, kick her ass! And then that doesn't happen. I think the, I think the people on both sides of the discussion have a point, but people on both sides of the discussion are also, like, annoying about it, because it's like, yeah, absolutely, Miles is Spider-Man by every merit of his own, but at the same time, there's so many characters who technically are just called Spider-Man, and if we referred to all of them as Spider-Man, it'd be a little hard to differentiate everybody. Uh, and the only reason Peter's the one we usually call Spider-Man is because he's the Spider-Man that's been around since the 60s. Okay, we're talking um, about Black Canary Sindel now, though. The episode yeah. where Black Canary absolutely just got fucking speared by Shao Kahn after the fight was over. <laughs> Let's not act like anything else would have happened there. An impressive display of power. Die. <laughs> Suck my dick or die. That's what he'd say. Modern Shao Kahn, at least. Yeah. I feel like classic Shao Kahn would just immediately jump to mind control, like, oh shit, she's strong, we could use her. But modern Shao Kahn would say he something stupid. He would say, stupid. become my concubine, and then she would FNAF jump scare his eardrums <laughs> out, and he'd go, ow! Yeah, mo modern Shao Kahn would do something stupid. Oh, sorry, General Shao. I know, so I know there are I people who... Care. I know there are people who like to just jump in and correct anyone who says Shao Kahn by saying, he's General Shao. Maybe shit, next though. he can be the general of who fucking asked. Yeah. Maybe next he'll be shall not be named. If only. All right, Black Canary Sindel. I'm tired of this fucking. <laughs> I'm tired of this lumpy soul man. Get him out of here. Yeah, I actually recently thought of uh, Shang Tsung versus Cervantes, and I don't know. I kind of like it, strangely enough. Like the whole thing of like they I, were I could see it. they were the first original final boss. Soul Stealer guy, and now they just kind of been replaced by the bigger Warlord Soul Stealer guy. But like, they're still there, doing sneaky things and trying to just overthrow that main guy and become the new big big fucker again. I don't know it. Kind I kind of dig it, and it definitely has like more like story on both sides than what you have with Cervantes Spinal, where like it's Cervantes has all this shit going on. His Spinal's got like a ten second backstory you can read out for him. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's like, Spinal's been in a lot of shit, but every single time his story is someone resurrected him against his will, and he's really not happy about it. Yeah, which does mean the fight's probably gonna start with Cervantes resurrects him against his will, and he's not happy with it, but... You ignorant fool. You think you have the power to contest with the sorcerer Shang So Yar, I'm going to cut your legs off! I do, I do think that, um, it, it would, it would be a cool interaction, just, um... Cervantes and Shang Tsung trying to one-up each other. Because that's another thing you're not going to get. Shang Tsung starts with making threats and Cervantes just shoots him in the fucking head. With a bottle of rum and a yo-ho-ho. -ho. Just says random pirate shit. Fuck it, Shang Tsung gets keel-hauled. <laughs> I, 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 Getting I, keel-hauled I, sounds like a fucking horrific way to die, though. Yeah, but like the name sounds really silly. 
You know, the name sounds really silly, but it's you being fucking scraped against essentially a thousand razor-sharp rocks on the side of a boat until you just die. Sucks a sucker, to be honest. You know, just deal with it, bitch. Fucking just try not dying if you don't want to die. Huh? Ever, ever thought of that? Have you ever tried to live a week on just hard tack? Alright, where we put Black Canary Sindel? I think it is literally... If there was a boring tier, it would go there, but I think this is good enough. Yeah, good enough. It's, it's not... Mo the, the plot is, it's Mortal Kombat. I think you could definitely do more by, like, doing anything, but it's, like, it's good enough. Yeah. This is the best way to, like, be neutral towards which Sindel characterization you're going with. Oh, God. Um, Leonardo versus Red Ranger, not Jason, who's because he's not on the thumbnail. Uh, Jason is running, and he bumps into Leo after Leo just brazenly oh, walks is in. Is that not Jason? Is that Rocky? No, that's, um, fucking, that's the, 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 the Megaforce guy, what his name is. Oh, that's fucking, oh, what the fuck is his name? Um... Captain That's gonna bother me. Marvel less. Yeah, he is uh, Captain Marvel. He most certainly is not. Uh, hold on. I got Forest Red. Uh, his name is Troy. Yes, that's him. Uh, and what? Why is there an individual ra a render for him as the Red Ranger? You know, mate. Uh, don't fucking ask me. Uh, so, in this episode, Leonardo brazenly walks into a pizza joint without any disguise and comes out with a single slice of pizza and everyone loves to fucking tell me that that is a thing that happens in New York. And then he gets bumped by Jason and falls to the ground. He's like, DUDE! And Jason's like, oh, my, look, monster! My canon is him. that this takes place during Fast Forward, where being a fucking disgusting mutant creature is acceptable in society. Yeah, but then that just makes Jason outright racist as opposed to a presumptuous dumbass. I mean, both are pretty in character. I mean, I don't know. Leo uh, Leo, Leo is pretty out of character in that fight. He acts a lot more like Mikey. That was for my pizza. Like, Leo in character would, would probably not go, Dude! What's going on? Whoa! That's totally not bodacious, dude! You knocked over my fucking pizza. I'm going to cut your skin off. Yeah, he's the, he's not like that. And he also wouldn't just be walking in without a disguise. This clearly does not take place in Fast Forward because it is clearly not taking place in Fast Forward. And also he would have the lightsaber uh, katanas and that would be way too cool for that episode if he busted out the fucking lightsaber katanas. You knocked over my pizza. I'm going to fucking kill you, dude. That was my favorite slice of za. And he's, uh, fucking Jason's like, you're green. I don't like that. It's morphin' time. Yeah. Um, I can't speak for Jason, but Leo is pretty, is pretty un, pretty un Leonardo in that. He's got no disguise. He bought a single slice of pizza for himself when, honestly, any Leo would get a whole pizza for everyone. And then when yeah. it, when it I gets, mean, when a normal human being bumps into him, instead of immediately jumping to the shadows to avoid being seen just in case the guy wasn't paying attention which he wasn't uh he just stays uh, there and whines about it yeah jason has pretty much every reason to assume that this is one of rita's minions because like nothing inhuman ever shows up unless either rita or zed made it so on, on jason's side his racism is as you would put it justified while leonardo it's just not leo yeah. So where does that leave us here? Uh, it's dumb. Oh, uh, it's bad. It's bad. It's going in bad. Just, I'm, I'm gonna say it goes in bad just because if Jason really is like that, it should have been pretty fucking easy. Like, actually come up with a reason. Literally just have, like, there be a Listen. big... Let, literally have there be just a big commotion in a warehouse. And Leo's just beating up some foot. And Jason walks in and sees a bunch of humans have just gotten the shit kicked out of them by this green monster thing. And then All it'd be I'm like, saying is, historically, power the Power Rangers, especially during the Mighty Morphin era, notably a little racist. So yeah, literally just have Leo beats up a bunch of foot ninja and Jason walks up to it because he noticed the commotion. 
and be like, Oh, it's one of Reader's monsters! It's morphine time. Takes some fentanyl and then picks a fight. Yeah, I think it was the uh, the Philippines that were hesitant to bring over specifically Mighty Morphin Power Rangers because they were like, oh, that sounds like morphine. I don't know if we want kids <laughs> saying that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Genos versus War Machine. War Machine is drinking a cup of coffee. Sorry, when... do you mean do you mean Genos? Do you mean Genos from One Punch Man? Gino from Super Mario RPG versus War Machine. War Machine is drinking his cup of coffee when there's a big boom and he drops it. So he goes over to see what's going on, and Gino immediately assumes that War Machine's a cyborg and picks a fight. Why? Why do two of them in a row start with someone dropping their food or drink? Then just then a random assumption is made, and they decide to kill each other over it. It's like, well, I mean, you have dark retinas maybe that's evil but it's i don't even like war machine has every right after a big explosion in the middle of nowhere to go in and go what's going on here genos is the one who's like huh you must be bad bad guy you remind me of metal knight and metal knight makes me feel insecure i will take out my aggressions on you like it's not even like like, like genos is just like oh one more of you i'll kill you when it's like, would another one of the enemies you were fighting shop and go, hey there, um, this is, you're not allowed to do that, by the way, as opposed to just fucking attacking you. And like, War Machine like, doesn't even- Like, all you even... have to do, even just, like, to have Genos mistake him as an enemy, is have Genos be fighting, like, fucking Ironmonger or someone. Yeah, which is a terrible name, by the way, but that's, 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 that's not for this conversation. Um. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just, like, what... Genos, are you fucking daft? And like War Machine yeah, doesn't a even bit. War Machine doesn't even attempt to go what? No. He's just like, yeah, okay, I'll just fucking tase you and then beat the crap out of you. Yeah. It's uh it's, Undo it's, Forces it's, is awesome. Come on. I don't I it's either bad or atrocious. I'm I'm willing to just say bad in this one's case. Yeah, I don't think it's atrocious cuz I'm not offended by it, but yeah, I if or if it was played more as like a joke, then I'd be like, okay, it, it's really stupid. But like, One Punch Man does have stupid jokes, sure. Uh, but I mean, it's like I mean, this episode especially just like gives the energy to me that like, you know, I, I'm sure the people working on it didn't have a terrible time or didn't hate the matchup, but it doesn't seem like one that people were like super invested in. It doesn't seem like this was anyone's like particular passion project. This is the episode where after you watch it, you go, well, that happened. Um, that just happened. Grey versus Esdeath. Esdeath is marching with her army, and then Grey shows up and goes, fuck off. And then Esdeath goes, no, and then he strips. I mean, to be honest, what else do you do? I'm... I'm not a fan of this episode, but, like, I mean, what else do you do for an intro? Yeah. It's literally just Esdeath is doing her thing. And Grey tells her to go fuck herself. And then she's like, no. If there is any group of anime characters that you do not need to give a very big reason to start a fight with someone, the fairy tale's gonna be a pretty high contender there. Yeah, which makes it amazing that they, like, they still manage to fuck up Grey's characterization when like it's it really shouldn't be that hard to get right. It really should be as simple as, like, this person seems like they could be trouble. Just beat the shit out of them, really. Yeah. Um, this one's, like, honestly, uh, basically perfect. Like, what else do you do? Down, I mean, it not even seems like they should be trouble. Like, one conversation with Azdeath should give you clear signals of this, this woman is, like, blatantly evil. Like, not even trying to hide the fact. Man, this lady's so batshit insane, she should be called as Guano, am I right? <laughs> that was a terrible fucking joke. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking yeah, terrible. Yeah, got him. Alright, <laughs> Goro versus Machamp. Goro is looking after his trophy collection when Machamp shows up and they fight. <laughs> it, I mean, I, it's literally they showed up and fought for no reason. Let's be honest here. Yeah, it's fucking Goro's fitting. like, man, I miss the days back when I used to win tournaments and the Shokan still considered me, you know, like, worth acknowledging. Machamp shows up and is like, Machamp! He turns around and he's like, ugh. 
Oh no, the he's duck like, the tribe of the Shokan have appeared. I thought you were dead. He's like, what the? He's like, and I thought Kintaro was weird. What the hell are you? <laughs> he like notices the this like Machamp just hideous. He's like, maybe Shiva had a point. Maybe we are just all hideous and terrible. Yeah, like I mean, like I never thought we really looked like monsters. But if there's if there's Shokan like this walking around, like I, uh, maybe they just saw one that w was a little justified. Actually, I say that the that Machamp could well be female. We don't actually know that that's a male Machamp. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, that is fair enough. Death Battle, what's with the nudity in Gora versus Machamp? Like, why is this female shirtless? Like, guys, that's not okay. Well, it's okay because there's no nipples. Oh, that's true. Ducks don't have nipples. Alright, Cable versus Booster Gold. Booster Gold is being a shithead when Cable shows up out of nowhere. Booster tries to be obnoxious about it and Cable tells him to die and then tries to make him do that. Yeah? Yeah, it's on brand. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically perfect. Uh, yeah, because Bo Booster Gold is like, ha ha, I'm the time-traveling hero. I go to the past and the future. Cable shows up and goes, I can do that too, and then shoots him. Yeah, that's basically what happens. And Booster's like, shooting people, huh? And then just doesn't shoot him for a while, and then when he actually does, it doesn't do jack shit, but, you know. All right, we're on to another Naruto episode. So... Obi-Wan shows up on sacred ground or some shit, and Kakashi's like, nah. And then they fight over that. <laughs> I'm gonna need to question you. You're somewhere you shouldn't be. I literally fell out of the sky. Yeah. Literally I'll... from... Sp not even from this solar system. Not even from this galaxy. A galaxy far, far away. You've seen the movies. No, I actually haven't. I'm a contrarian. I haven't seen them, not because I haven't seen them, but just because I'm going to say the opposite, just to <laughs> be annoying. Kaiser's like, I, I only actually watch the scenes with uh, Leia in the slave outfit, so, you know. I actually go. only read the novelization, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna be honest. Nah, nah. I, think it's, I think this one is extra weird, because, like, Obi-Wan's, like, famous title is The Negotiator. He negotiates really good. But here he's just like, I don't want to fucking deal with you. Fuck off. You want to go home and suck your own dick or something? Too uncivilized. It, it's 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 a weird intro. Um, My name is Kakashi Hatake. I know over one hundred jutsus. Right? Does one of them make you fuck off or leave me alone? <laughs> I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to repair my ship so I can get off this planet. I don't know how I got here. Honestly, I'm just trying to leave. Ah, that sounds like you've entered this sacred ground and should be questioned or killed. I'm just gonna be honest. Yep, that, that, that's... Sounds like I need to take you away for, uh, no reason. Sounds like you need to be detained. He's like, what have I, what have I done that's worth being detained? Honestly. Like what, I said, what did I do? Like I said, no reason. I just feel like, like you gotta... Let... Die. This is the same, if, if Gojo Kakashi happened, this is what the intro would be. Gojo would be walking in to, like, Hidden Leaf Village territory, and Kakashi would be like, you're not supposed to be here. And Gojo would be like, but I am. And then they'd fight. That that that's how we would begin if they did that as an episode. Yeah. And what what's the bleach opponent for Kakashi? Is that Urahara? Uh, yeah, he'd show up. Kisuke Urahara. <laughs> he'd show up on sacred ground. And Kakashi'd be like, "You're not supposed to be here," and he'd be like, "Yeah, you, probably." In the event you ever read or watch any amount of Bleach, it's going to be really funny if you get to Soul Society, because it's like, how are we going to get to the spirit world? Like, kind of hell, but not actually. It's like, well, I'm going to build a big rectangular portal out of bricks. And he just he just fucking builds a nether portal. It's really funny. <laughs> he just builds a nether portal. Brilliant. All right, Kikashi... Yeah, he just fucking summons a nether portal and they go through. Kakashi Obi-Wan. I don't want to call it atrocious because I do find it kind of amusing, but I don't want to call it just funny either. At this point, it's funnier because it's happened so many times. Right, I guess that's fair, yeah. This is the sacred ground gimmick, you know. Well, I put it in bad accent. Funny. Jake Long versus Danny Phantom. Daniel is putting a thing down, and then Jake Long shows up like, Ah, you're trying to steal it! 
And Dana's like, what? No, when did I ever give off that impression? I'm gonna just dragon mode and kill you. I'm gonna dragon you. I'm gonna drag like, on me? you. Never! Child. Who's like my age, roughly. Yeah. And then they fight over that, because Danny put... Because Danny explicitly put an artifact back where it's meant to go. Jake Long assumed that he was trying to steal it. I've not watched Jake Long. Maybe Whoa, he is can, just... You could turn into a dragon? That's kind of cool, dude. I'm going to dragon you upside the head. Excuse you? Never! Yeah, that is basically kind of what happens. Um, I've not seen Jake Long. Maybe he is that stupid. <laughs> um, not typically. Have you... How much have you seen of Jake Long? I mean, I caught a few episodes when I when I was younger. Like, we had Disney XD. It came on every now and then. So he's not meant to be that fucking brain dead. He's not remedial. No, I mean, like, I, typically he's pretty laid back. He's he's not usually one for confront. Like, usually some supernatural shit will be going on, causing problems for someone, and they're like, Jake, go fucking be the main character. He's like, okay. <laughs> so what should have happened is Jake goes, so, trying to steal it. And Danny goes, that is just the exact opposite of what I've just done. And Jake's so, like, oh, you're the yeah. ghost I've been looking for. You've been looking for ghosts that put artifacts back into where they're supposed to be? The Phantom Replacer, so you admit it. <laughs> now that would have been funny. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, that is actually what I'm looking for. He's like, yeah, exactly. He's like, what? Why, why is that someone that needs to be detained? Listen, I don't ask questions. I just beat up the bad guys. Yeah. Um, this goes in bad. <laughs> it's not a good start. Yeah. Is it atrocious, though? It is animated atrociously. <laughs> it is really badly animated. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know if I'm feeling an atrocious. I don't, I, don't, I, I think it's just, I don't care about enough it. about either one to put them into atrocious. Alright, yeah, she versus Wonder Woman. They're both there and they fight. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, alright. Pretty much. Beerus versus Sailor Galaxia. Beerus is enjoying an ice cream when Galaxia nukes the world, and Beerus is like, Well, now, you should fucking die for that. Fight. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, that's pretty in character for Beerus. That's basically perfect. I don't know what else you would do. Literally, the only way I... to make it more in character would be to ruin it by having Whis show up. Because that's what would happen. Yeah. But that would ruin it, so. I really like, in the newest chapter, fucking uh, people are doing their things. And, like, Beerus's planet is just getting carved up. Like, keys going everywhere. It's getting destroyed. He's like, will you guys stop wrecking my planet? Honestly, this kind of wanton destruction. And then Whis just kind of slides him a look. <laughs> yeah. Because it's like, come on. Come on, Beerus. Come Beerus. on, this is the god of destruction. Beerus, if you I love in the chapter before that, too. He's like, what What was that key? He's like, oh, that was Son Gohan. He's like, who? He's like, Son Goku's son. That moron has a son? Yeah, you met him at the Tournament of Power. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, I, <laughs> he's like I, com I completely forgot, I'll be honest. One of these days, I, I just fucking imagine Whis going, Beerus, you keep saying stupid shit. I'm going to start calling you Bills again, okay? Don't you dare. I think I'm going to call you that, Bills. What are you going to do about it? Beat me up? Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna be as inconvenient to you as I can. Well, so nothing's going to change. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, you're already the worst part of every day. I'm going to be honest. Um, You really can't do shit if I tell you to do something or say something to you. What are you going to do, hmm? Come on. You and I both know you wouldn't win that fight. Yeah, well, um... Fuck you. Storms off. Eats all of Whis's parfait. <laughs> I'm gonna eat all of your earth food before you get a chance. No, Lord Beerus, don't do it. <laughs> Whis just, like, turns back time and was like, no, 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 you didn't. <laughs> Fucking Goku comes up at some point, he's like, Hey Whis, uh, 
I notice you and Beerus aren't talking a lot lately. Is everything all right? It's like, uh, and Beerus is like, Weiss is still mad I ate all of his earthling food. <laughs> and we, <laughs> and Weiss is like, I don't really pay any attention to bills anyway. And then Goku starts calling Beerus bills <laughs> and just starts spreading. Like, what's a bills? Never you mind. Call me that and I'll destroy you. Okay. And Weiss is like, no, n no, we won't. I'm not going to let that happen. He's like, fuck! We see, you know, you could just rewind time and bring the food back. He's like, it's just the thought of it disgusts me. That was my food made especially for me, and you crossed a personal boundary. I know your saliva won't literally still be on it if I do that, but it feels like it will. It just has that it vibe. It like it'll be there. It's, it's just gross, Lord Beerus. It's uncouth. Some lord you are. But yeah, this one's this one's pretty on point. Yeah, I'd, I'd say, say I'd say it's basically not perfect, that I can yeah. speak to Sailor Galaxia. But. I think um, apparently her dialogue is a bit out of character, but that mostly comes out like after all the stuff. I think that the main thing I guess I could put it below basically perfect because of the fucking complete non sequitur of ha 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 witness my infinite power, which literally I just picture Beerus going what what excuse me. What exactly was that following on from? I don't, I don't, I don't follow here. What? Uh, yeah, I witnessed it. It didn't seem that infinite, but it was really annoying, and <laughs> I'm going to destroy you. Witness how little I care. I still want to put in basically perfect, though, just because Dragon Ball episodes where the character, where the Dragon Ball character gets to show off personality, you know, they're, they're not particularly common. There's like three of them. Witness my infinite power. Here's a better idea. Witness someone who fucking asked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he didn't, though. He didn't ask. So, like, Galactus is going to go, Where? I did not ask. All right, Zuko versus Todoroki. The infamous He's Todoroki just is... like me. Well, Zuko is training some shit, and they, they, they just assume that, like, they're enemies. Some shit like that. The infamous episode. In terms of like, you look wrong. Prepare to die. I just look like you, but half my hair is white and half my hair is red. Yeah, and that's not how hair yeah. works. I don't like it. Makes me unhappy. And white makes me think of old people, and old people makes me think of my father. And there's no one I hate more than my father. Yeah, it's well, like, that's rough, buddy. That's a mood, all right. I get it. Yeah. My dad sucks too. All right, let's kill each other. Did your dad also try to conquer the world and gain the powers of an evil comet, and then also, you know, drive your sister insane and yada yada yada? And Todoroki's like, I mean, my dad was kind of—he's I mean, he's getting better. He didn't do all that. Yeah, well, that makes one of us, and they fight. I, th I think the the line, if I remember correctly, is the. Your actions say otherwise when, like, Zuko is just fucking training and accidentally fires a blast towards Todoroki, who he did not see. Todoroki blocks and is like, Ah, you're a villain! You'll pay for that! And Zuko's like, Wait, no, I'm not. And Todoroki's like, Ah, I disagree. I'm, I'm, I'm not a villain, though, I swear. Mm, no, I decided you are. I literally, th I literally came up with, like, when the episode was announced, what if the intro is literally just Zuko's doing the blue spirit thing, and then Todoroki assumes he's a villain? And, like, they got, they got half of that equation in, they just kind of missed, you know, the main fucking part of it <laughs> that makes it justifiable that Todoroki would assume he's a villain. The part where he's dressed like an evil villain and being sneaky. Yeah. Instead, is just so like I'm gonna, the, I, I'm gonna say this one's probably not bad. And bad. Yeah, I, honestly, I think it's. I'm gonna put it straight into atrocious, just because yeah. they actually did have Zuko go. No, I'm not. I don't want to fight. And Todoroki still just went. Yeah, but we kind of got her though, mate. I'm just gonna be honest. Like, I, I, I was kind of planning ahead for you to say something evil, so I wasn't really prepared for this. But you know, we're gonna fight now. I came here looking for a fight, and someone is gonna die. Yeah. And Zuko's like, I, you, you need therapy. And Zuko, and Tony Rogue is like, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yep. Ice wall. That, that does sound right. Alright, Flash versus Sonic. 
they're running, and then they pick a fight. <laughs> I was trying to come up with a good way to describe that during that whole bit, and I, I literally couldn't come up with anything better than they're running down the interstate, and then they decide to fight. Yeah, he goes, uh, fuck you, suck my dick, I'm way past blue, and he goes, oh yeah, well, I'm red, and then they fight. Yeah, Sonic's like, wanna bite of my chili dog? And Flash is like, oh yeah, thanks. And Sonic's like, I wasn't serious. You ate my chili dog. You you, you offered me a bite. Now you're gonna die. Oh, oh, wait, wait. That was sarcastic. I'm really bad at picking up sarcasm on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's not, it's not great. Um... It's really not great. He starts calling the names of the other Flashes. He's like, Barry. Sonic's like, I'll make you eat those words. <laughs> you mean like you made me eat your chili dog? <laughs> this this is literally just, yeah. they just showed up and fought for no reason. Yeah. Like, I know they fought over the chili dog, but like, what led, the, what led to the, they were already in competition about something. Ranking I... every food uh, that has appeared as the cause of a death battle by how feasible, how reasonable it is to fight someone over this. That is a funny idea. We got we got coffee, we got pizza, we got ice cream, we got chili dog. Yeah, um, let me actually like just go through the list and see what I can think of that's there. Um, da, 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 da. We got technically the rare candies are responsible for why the Pokemon fought. Um, yeah, uh, technically. We got a ton of candies that got Kirby Boo fighting. Mm-hmm. Um, bananas. The Donkey Kong Knuckles. Yep, bananas. Um, uh, marshmallow. Charizard and, and Nagumon. Uh, yes. Er, yeah, Charizard and Nagumon. Marshmallow. Yes, marshmallows. Uh, uh, Joker Sweet Tooth. Ice Cream. Ice Cream, cream again. We've got mm-hmm. Soft Serve and we've got Popsicle. Uh, People, Carnage vs. Lucy. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, gotta look through. I'm gonna think about each one. Like, what happens in each one? This is like a completely random bit that's just going to go nowhere. Um, People question mark Venom versus Bane. <laughs> Brains, basically. Uh, Natsu Natsu versus Ace chicken. starts over that uh fucking the oh chicken, yeah over chicken the drumstick. Chicken drumstick. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. And then we go a while without mm. arguing over food. Uh, let's... Let me think. Uh, Beerus Galaxia. Is yeah, that, that's over the ice popsicle. Cream. Um, yeah, Sonic Flash uh, is a chili dog. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rock Lee Sanji is curry. <laughs> the curry, <laughs> yeah. Fucking t- technically, Goku Black reverse flash didn't reverse flash and knock over his coffee, and then he's like, "All right, you're gonna die." His tea. Tea. That's right. Not I mean, coffee. Macho Man Kool Aid Man. That's technically it's not. Yeah, but it, Kool Aid Man kind of is food. Yeah, they they, they kind of just fight. We'll get to why they fight later, but like. Um... Dio, Dio card, you can also <laughs> Dio card people. people. I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can, and you would be objectively correct. Spinach? Yep, spinach. Uh, Hercules Sun Wukong oh, te- was a peach, I believe. Technically, uh, Homelander did lose his, um, did lose his drink. When on the yeah, end. he did. Gave him a, a proper It was, spank. um... It was one of the uh, peaches th- that uh, Sun Wukong was tasked to retrieve. So that's that. Um... Have 
if we had a food based beginning I mean Makima did probably lose her popcorn yeah I mean there's food involved in a lot of these cause I guess there's like the drink oh, that's being stirred uh, in March of Man, Hunter Silver Surfer Colex people fucking again Bill becomes yeah Colex people again Bill <laughs> becomes a Dorito for a minute he gets void yeah uh, Scooby and Courage have the the big bone. Uh, Galactus oh, Unicron. Earth. <laughs> Earth, Galactus <laughs> Unicron. Which, like, yeah. Unicron is immediately just like, look, if I can't eat it, then you're going to eat it with your forehead and smacks it, in, smacks him with it. So yeah, uh, we we can we can have that uh, in in the comments on this video. Uh, of of the things listed, or of the things you can think of, we didn't think of that were uh, a food by technicality and the cause of the fight. Ranking in one of these death, death battles, battles by relevant rank, food. <laughs> rank them. Rank them by if you were eating that, how mad would you be if someone like we, how willing are you to throw hands for that food? We should rank them by relevant food, so we include like Iron Fist pose dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're up to seven, the seven Battle Royale. Uh, they show up in five for no reason. Yep. Oh, foods! Uh, Red, Red Hood went to soldier. <laughs> Red Hood doesn't get to eat his burger. Which he was gonna, he was gonna eat, like, you're oh, gonna yeah, talk- he does have You're, a you're gonna talk about Miles having a hamburger in his pocket. That ain't much worse than Red Hood going to eat a burger while wearing leather gloves. That's just- Miles' that's... was canon, though. Shut the fuck up, Donovan. Because he fucking, he meets Molecule Man. He's like, hey, Molecule Man, my universe is kind of dying. Do you think you could fix it? He's like, I don't know. I'm kind of hungry. You got any food? He's like, yeah, I got a hamburger in my pocket. He's like, yeah, fuck it. Okay, that works. <laughs> I think Molecule Man's more sus there, to be honest. Yeah. Anyway, I uh, mean, Molecule Man's always a little sus. Red Hood is mugging Batman off and then sits down to have a bite to eat. And Winter Soldier shows up, clearly having a hit on... Red Hood and they fight each other because Winter Soldier needs him dead and Red Hood's like I, I, I disagree yeah I, I mean, mean either way this works I could see either perfect. one going after the other it's basically perfect like the only way like the, you can there is another way to do it but making Red Hood the instigator doesn't inherently make it better it's just two equally like completely perfect ways to go about it mhm mm Though Bucky being in a Bucky being in the casual situation is would be a lot funnier than Red Hood, um, but I guess that that would make it a little worse in some from some point of view. Oh God! Speaking of worse, Venom versus Krona. A Catholic uh, is praying I mean... at uh, a church, and then someone else comes in to pray, and he's like, "I'm gonna fucking eat ya." Oh, so this one starts over food as well. Yes, the food is Krona. No one take I'm that. I'm going to fucking things. devour you, child. I don't care what you are doing today. I don't care about your aspirations. I only care what your brain tastes like. Literally, I don't know what Jesus would do in this situation. Literally, this fight is as Krona walks into the church, and Venom's like, "Fuck this guy!" and tries to eat them. <laughs> That's basically Eddie, what happens. Eddie, Eddie, I don't have a cock. What? <laughs> I just noticed. He's like Venom. Stay, stay. We're in the middle of a fight. Stay on, stay on topic. Come on. He's like, this is going to bother me. He's like, I don't have a nose either, already. Yeah, I think this. I is don't a... have ears. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have a doesn't have a bunghole, but he's got a huge mouth to eat stuff. Like, what's up with that? I don't have nipples either. Is this why people consider me a monster, Eddie? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Venom. I'd say so. It's also the fact. I, I say so. Yeah. It's also the You're fact you got those looking. those big fucking Satan eyes and that giant slobby maw and your huge floppy sloppy tongue and the fact you go around eating brains doesn't exactly help the image. You know, it's not the image of a hero. You know. If okay. You... In in my defense, in my defense, that's how Clintar survived. You could eat chocolate. The stuff you're looking for in brains, it's in chocolate. You can't it's get. Not as, it's not the same. You can't it's get diabetes. You can't get diabetes venom. I it's can. Like vegetable substitutes for me. It's not the same thing. 
No, look, okay, look, 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 look. A big guy goes around eating chocolate. That's going to have a great image. The big guy goes around eating brains doesn't inspire. Ooh, what a nice fella. It inspires monster. It inspires fear in the hearts of criminals. It inspires the word parasite. I'm just going to be honest. Are you calling me a parasite, Eddie? Do you not love me? <laughs> I might be calling you a bit of a parasite, but that doesn't mean I don't love you. That's fair. <laughs> Alright, that bit's over. Uh, Venom Kroner is bad. And the intro is too. Um, it's literally... Kroner walks in... And they want to just be in the church alone. And... Carnage, pretending to be Venom, gets up and decides to kill them and eat them. Hey, Ragnarok, have I ever told you about this guy Jesus before? He's like, I don't know, does he have a soul? Can I eat it? <laughs> Ragnarok's like, I don't know, is Jesus a big, black, gooey monster with a giant maw and floppy tongue? That seems very specific. Yeah, um, look. Like, that seems pretty specific. Also, I don't think so. Krona looks at Venom's like, Jesus Christ! And Ragnarok's like, ah! Not that I know of, but perhaps in a past host. <laughs> anyway, atrocious. Just awful. Awful intro. Very bad. Did not like. John Talbain. And the next one's not that much better. Versus Saberwolf. I literally don't remember if... Is it not just John walks up and then they fight? <laughs> no, John walks up uh, and sees Saberwolf over a dead body. Saberwolf goes... Please forgive me. Oh, I couldn't yeah. control myself. Yeah. And then John decides to <laughs> fucking murder him. No, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. That is... It. Oh, now I gotta go back. <clears throat> I gotta redo my little explanation. <clears throat> uh, John Talbain walks into an alley and he finds Saywolf having killed a bunch of people. And Saywolf is begging for forgiveness, clearly not happy with it. And then John's like, yeah, yeah fuck you, to be honest. Die. Should have just learned to control yourself Sorry. better, dipshit. All out of mercy. Literally, they could have literally just changed it if John like tried to help him control it, but Sablewolf couldn't and just attacked him first. Like, just like Sablewolf does attack him first, but he has he's very justified to, and he's like, "Forgive me," and John's like, "No." Uh, no. If John just went, why the fuck look. would I forgive? Only I deserve forgiveness. I'm awesome. If John said something encouraging, like trying to help him control it, and Sable was just like, I can't, and jumped at John, then he'd be like, okay, yeah, I can vibe with that. Yeah. But, but no, so this one goes into bad at best. I, I think just because one of the main, like, interesting things in the matchup is that John is pretty well relatively in control. And he could very well help Sable Wolf. The fact that he doesn't even try, that's just, that's not on. That's not okay. No. Red versus blue. The blues are dicking around and the reds steal their flag and they fight over that. Yeah. I mean, to be honest. Yeah. Makes, makes sense. That is just the setup to a red versus blue episode. Batgirl versus Spider Gwen. Batgirl is commenting on Death Battle because she's an incel who doesn't deserve happiness in her life. And then Spider-Gwen just shows up and Batgirl decides to pick a fight over that. Clearly, I, mean, I don't disagree that Green Lantern should have won, but surely they could have worded it better than that. And Gwen, even though she's trying to be stealthy and invisible, goes, nerd. <laughs> that would have been a that would have been a better intro. <laughs> Batgirl just like freaks out, turns around, and just socks Gwen in the face. As opposed to the other places yeah, you like, can sock someone. Ow. <laughs> yeah. You could sock someone's foot. That's not... You, we wouldn't call that socking someone in Australia. Yeah, but if they put a sock on, they've socked their foot. Yeah, we would say that they put a sock on their foot, but... You know, sock they've is socked a verb their foot. means to like, punch someone in the mouth or something. But, um... Mm. Batgirl, Batgirl Spider Gwen is... It, it is literally just, they showed up in fight for no reason, but with, like, an extra step in front of it. Yeah. 
literally spider gwen shows up and she's clearly distressed she's like what no i didn't want to be here and then back he'll toss his batarangs at her and yeah. it's animated badly very badly uh, okay so what i'm hearing is that this is another you're somewhere you shouldn't be <laughs> Yes, I mean it is. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't attack me, but I did. But I did because I'm awesome. I'm Batgirl. It's uh, I'm putting it in atrocious. It's a terrible intro because like it's so out of character for Batgirl. Randomly attack someone, yeah. and also she watches death battle, so like she does deserve to die. Yeah. We're on, like, a hot streak of just the worst possible intros with Sanji versus Rock Lee. Uh, Sanji makes Rock Lee a dish, and then Rock Lee goes, Oh, oh, no. This is my literally my favorite food. What are you doing? I didn't want this. And then Sanji decides to kick the living crap out of him for it. I don't like mild curry. Then why did you ask for it? I'm stupid. Yeah, atrocious. He's like, oh boy, I sure am drunk. He's like, I'm sorry, how old are you? Are you allowed to drink? Yeah, bad. Not bad, atrocious. Like, straight up. Awful. Um, yeah. Hulk versus Broly. Broly is vibing, all nice and happy, and then suddenly Hulk shows up, crashing out of nowhere, and he's like, Hey, spiky hair man, what's this puny planet? And then Broly's like, you're making me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. And Hulk's like, bet, and then died. <laughs> Where the fuck am I? You made the deer run away. I'm gonna rip your head off. Oh, what? I okay. I mean, that's not gonna work, but Hulk is okay with this turn I mean, of events. You you wouldn't be the first one to do it, really. I'm used to it at this point. Hulk vibing with this! Fight. Hulk speaks from experience what he say. Animal running away, not not good reason to get mad. You you need you need help. You need professional. <laughs> just rips his fucking head off and just blasts him away with energy anyway. And then He's Hulk like, Jesus then Christ! He Hulk's the captain and it's like, hey! Dude, oh, I dick. can regenerate just fine, but it still hurts. This Broly guy's a dickhead! He doesn't regenerate his body, he just regenerates a fist out of his neck and punches Broly with it. Yeah, he, he <laughs> fucking Chuck Norris is him. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this one, like, on Hulk's side, I hear it's bad. <laughs> Even for Devil Hulk. And on Broly's side, I yeah. know it's bad, because he just up and threatens the guy. It doesn't even sound like he's warning him, like he's genuinely like, I'm angry. Please leave. He's just like, Oi, you really done pissed me off here, okay? I'm re I'm really upset with you. It's like, very lucky that I've not punched you yet. In in Z, that Broly took having, like, a PTSD trigger. In Super, it took him watching his fucking dad die in front of him for him to actually get mad. Yeah. Like, Broly... Super I'm like, Broly just isn't... someone showing up and be... Someone showing up, scaring the deer away, and going, where am I, is not a sufficient reason for him to get mad. Yeah, and then, from what I hear, the way Hulk acts is just really unlike the like the Hulk they were going for. I'm like, what's this mm. puny planet? It's very villainous, you know? It's... Yeah. I'm gonna say this one's bad. Yeah. I'm almost willing to put in the choice just because how forced the um, you're making me angry line is. It's, yeah. It is animated well. Like, that's something it has unlike all the other... Uh, the You know, I'm gonna put in the choice just because I think it's funny for Season 7 to have just, like, this streak of horrible intros. Yeah. It's weird, though, because it's like, yeah, it is animated well, but just, like, fucking... Uh, yeah, look at Hulk! Look at Broly. Uh, look how flat Broly looks during that intro. Hulk looks bad I mean, for like the whole thing, Dragon but like 
Dragon Ball characters looking fat and th- f- fat, looking <laughs> flat in 3D is something I'm used to at this point. Yeah, it doesn't make it good though. If you get punched ten times in the face, you're like, I'm used to getting punched it good, in the face. But I'm doesn't not used mean to, you're like, I'm not used to Hulk looking like he's got a fucking brick wall for a face. <laughs> There's a reason like his fucking cut out face has been turned into like a meme. All right, <laughs> King Mickey versus Yoda. <laughs> they showed up for no reason and fought. Here to fight you, I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Oh, your favorite episode. Shadow the Hog versus Ryuko Matu. They... Now, before, before we start, just to be clear, the rumors I've heard about you committing war crimes. True, yes, all of them. Mmm, believe in the Geneva Conventions, I do not. Geneva Conventions have not been invented yet. (laughs) Hold me back, they cannot. Um, dog! (laughs) Shadow versus Ryuko. They are driving, and then Shadow drives past Ryuko on their cycles. I guess rides is the more fitting word. And then they pick a fight. (laughs) Yeah, it's it's Ryuko. It's Ryuko being far more abrasive and violent than she is, because it's like, yeah, she'll raise her voice and she'll call people names, but she's not going to try to fucking murder someone because they cut her off. Yeah. And because, like, when she was like, hey, watch where you're going, they said something stupid afterwards. Excuse me, do you know who I am? I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. Um, it's not good. It's really not good. No. It's like episode one Ryuko at best, um, but with Sanketsu. Yeah, and it's like, uh, the rest of the fight is like episode two Ryuko and Sanketsu at best. Yeah. Um, is this atrocious or bad? You know, you're the one with a stronger opinion on this episode. It's bad. I would say the opening's bad because it's like, at least this mischaracterization of Ryuko, I can see someone getting that vibe from, like, watching a good handful of clips. But, like, if you don't have the context with just how over-the-top shitty the people Ryuko deals with moment-to-moment are, I could definitely get the impression, get get having the impression of her that she's just abrasive and fights whoever shows up. Mm. Oh, finally some good fucking food. And I never thought I'd say that about fucking Lex Luthor versus Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom shows up to take something, and Lex Luthor tells him to go suck a big fat dick. I mean, that's perfect. What else do you do? I'm here to claim resources for my country. Oh yeah, what if your country was uh was LexCorp? What and if I made it? I am hmm? so tempted to put it in funny though, because that intro is the funniest fucking intro. I it is arguably the one that makes corporatocracy. me laugh. Corporatocracy. Mr. Luthor, your company has invaluable assets for the people of Latveria. I've come here to seize them. <laughs> that line gets me. Even more than the corporatocracy line. Just, Mr. Luthor, your when company... Before the voice cast was revealed, I'm pretty sure people thought that Doctor Doom was voiced by Dan TDM. <laughs> it's because he sounds... It's... I mean, it's the accent, right? I think it's just the accent, but... It has to be. I, I thought I thought he just had like that hello Mario energy. Hello Mario, this is the male penis and gen like I can't I can't imagine how many how it should have been I've started by just making the characters go into the Lex Doom conversation and I can't help it because every time it makes me laugh. Like this is another one of those you showed up in a place you're not supposed to be, but like this is one of the most believable ones, because like yeah. Yeah, I mean, a squirrel could wander its way into LexCorp, and Lex would have it fucking eviscerated. Is Hulk versus Broly a you're in a place you shouldn't be? (laughs) Uh, I would say no, just because Broly doesn't seem to give a shit about the location, just the fucking animals. I mean, Broly basically blows the planet up, so... You know. Where the fuck is this planet? Where is Broly? Why are there deer there? Imagine the intro is like, Does what's Broly this, know where he's at? Does puti- he even know what planet he's hey, on? Spiky Hair Man! What's this puny planet? I don't know. I don't fucking know. 
I don't. I'm not. I'm not sure. I think Chilai made a wish to get me off of Earth before I got blowed up. I think she made the wrong wish because this isn't the planet I'm from. Yeah, this, this is not Vampa. This is not. Vampa. I have no idea where I'm at. How do you know it's not Vampa? There are deer here. That's that's a yeah. There are deer thing. here. The only thing on Vampa was giant bugs and like green weasel things. These giant adorable weasel things. I love. You know. That's what. That's what we had there. You know. I'm actually wearing the skin of one right now. What? 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 Ugh! Is that what that stink yeah. is? Ugh! His name was Ba. He was like my pet or something, and then my dad shot his ear off, and he didn't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> they just have like a fucking therapy session about awful dads. Then Boomstick I grew up. up on a planet for the first 40 years of my life where the only food was bugs and the floor was evil. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, that's not wrong. Uh, Lex Doom, I'm going to put it in basically perfect, because while it does have floor, uh, that floor is so fucking funny that, like, that's the best part of the episode to me, is just the intro to the fight. So, i, I got to give it credit. Heihachi Mishima versus He's, Goose Howard. Heihachi. Uh, it's the end of a tournament, and Ringmaster's like, here's the final fight. And then they have their final fight. It works. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'd call it uh, basically perfect, because I do think there are more characterful ways to have these two interact, just because they're such shitheads. Um, but it, I definitely say it's a good way to, to do it. Yeah. I agree. Alright. Blake versus Mikasa. Atrocious. Just awful. Uh, sorry, yeah, I need you like by the one of the worst in the whole my show. Little, little description. Mikasa's evacuating the city because there are titans that don't show up until, like, three minutes later. Uh, and Blake is reading a book, and Mikasa's like, Oi, you gotta go. And Blake ignores this, and Mikasa shoots the book. He's like, no, you really gotta go. So Blake tries to kill her. Yeah. Atrocious. That was my favorite book. Followed up by the completely out of left field, Leave me alone! Because they couldn't yeah. get um, a voice actress. All right. Iron Fist versus Poe. Iron Fist is training. This one, I, I think I, I, my funny summary for this is, are we best friends now? Yep. Want to go do Kung Fu in the garage? No, I think I'd rather fight you to the death. <laughs> that was awesome. I can't wait to tell Master Shifu about this. This cuts to the gif of Shifu with like the twitching, the twitching eye. Yeah, with the twitching face. <laughs> the, His heart cuts it. WHAT HAVE YOU DONE?! <laughs> oh, Poe, you did what? It's okay, I can go visit him in the spirit realm whenever I want. Poe, you redefine what it means to be a moron. He's um, like, well, hey now, let's not, let's not be hurtful. I'm willing to say the intro is basically perfect, even down to like the voice acting, but like some of the dialogue is a bit clunky. Won't lie. Yeah, when he says, I am the dragon. You're a dragon too? <laughs> I admit should have been like, no, and neither are you. <laughs> You're a fucking panda. I, I, I'm not, I'm not literally a dragon. I fought a dragon and I'm like, I'm the, I'm the dragon-esque guy. And he's like, oh, well, I think, well, I'm panda and I'm a <laughs> warrior. I don't think I'm literally a dragon, but I made a dragon once, so I kind of? I'm gonna put this I think in... my soul might be a dragon. I'm not entirely clear. Yeah, the dialogue is clunky, but I'll still put it in good. It still deserves to be in good. Uh, perfect concept. A little bit of tweaking, it would be basically perfect. The wooshy finger hold. You know it? Uh, no. Ah, well, you're about to. <laughs> Alright, Steven versus Star. They are doing a what sand... What did sandcastles ever do to you? They're making hmm, sandcastles. Star Butterfly decides to magic hers. And it fucking forward smashes Steven's entire side of the beach. And so Star tries to cheer him up by killing him. <laughs> there are watermelon Stevens in this, but food is not the instigator. Yes, but it would still be ranked in the tier list for how important the, the watermelons, you know, the relevant food. How the watermelons rank, and I would not rank them particularly high. I am not a fan of watermelons. They are the arch enemies. What? They are the arch enemies to pumpkins. Like, I can't be fan of watermelons. It's like, they are the rival, you know? Yeah, but watermelon tastes way better. No, it does not. 
This is this is not this is not up for argument because this is not what we're talking about. We're talking about whether or not Star Butterfly was justified to try and kill Steven. Well, okay, you know what? I think I've just figured out what our next Pokemon battle is going to be. So. <laughs> we're not doing pumpkins versus watermelons. Uh, I uh, fucking yeah, that's what you think. I will I will concede this. Melon Pult is better than pumpkin in Plants vs. Zombies. I mean, not in the first game, because they're both about the same tier of excellent, but like in the second game, easily sweeps pumpkin. Pumpkin is basically useless in that game. One Almost 100% of melon sales are for actual consumption. Like, 90% at least of pumpkin sales is for fucking hollowing it's out for and for fucking carving. defacing them. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I would rather get hit with a watermelon than a pumpkin, though. I mean, both will probably really fucking hurt, but I would prefer the watermelon. I feel like a pumpkin's a little easier. There's like a little hollower, yeah, so there might not be as much weight behind it. Pumpkins at their biggest it. get heavier. Yeah, oh, yeah. Do you know about the fucking uh, Pumpkin River the th uh, world record? I think I heard that, yeah. Where someone, someone grew a really big pumpkin, hollowed it out, and rode it down a river. Brilliant. Just brilliant. We've we've gone off we've gone off the beaten track here, uh, Steven Star. Us no. <laughs> Steven Universe with a Star Butterfly. Steven Star. I, it, it really is just what did Sandcastles ever do to you? Hmm, I don't know. Unfortunately, that takes place after the criteria that we're looking at here. Um, was Star that's like pretty, what? That's pretty much what it is. Why? Is she knocks over a why did and he's Star like, just? Die. No, she attacks him. He, like, picks her up and goes, look, woman, leave. And she's like, eh, nah, and then starts blasting him. I'm almost certain he doesn't phrase it like that. Nah, but he was thinking it. But yeah, uh... Steven picks her up and like, the last, thing I, the last thing I need is Lolly they're... from Candyland, the great Lollipop adventure getting in my way, okay? Get the fuck out of my face. Historically, there are episodes of Star vs. the Forces of Evil where she instigates fights with people who don't really want to and then ends up, like, taking things way too far. That's even the point of conflict in one episode where they're talking about a holiday where her people would uh, celebrate, you know, destroying and, like, beating up all these monsters when uh, most of the monsters they had for these ceremonies didn't do anything and were just brought in to be beat up for no reason. Uh... But she does also, in that episode, mostly grow past that and doesn't tend to repeat it very often. And Steven's also uh, not a monster, just visibly is a human. He is just a guy. I mean, he's, he's part rock alien, but she doesn't know that. Yeah, she doesn't know that. He's not used his powers. He's not shown her his stomach, because that would be a fucking weird thing to just do. I mean, half the time the thing's fucking hanging out because the shirts don't fit. Yeah, well, visibly his shirt does fit in this episode, okay? Don't fat okay, shame, well, all right? Uh, we value well, you know rocks. Your shirt, we so. value rocks in this household, understand me, sir? Everywhere values rocks dipshits. That's what fucking minerals are. That's not true. Not that's everywhere what, values fucking, rocks. That's what... I mean, there's also... Fucking currency, coins, that's made of Metal. fucking metals. Where are metals found in? Rocks. You what are metals, not rocks. But they're in rocks. Yeah, I can find... So there's at least I, some value in find, the rocks that the metals are found in. I can find fucking money notes in a goddamn, like, wooden cabinet. That doesn't make money... You know what's valuable? Wood. You know what's valuable as a source? Coal. You know what coal is? Coal's rocks. Coal is bad for the environment, is what it is, actually, Donovan. It's bad for the environment, but it is rocks and it is valuable. Yeah, but no one likes them. No one likes the Coles. I mean, except in Minecraft. I mean, Coles a pretty swell guy. I don't, I don't dislike him. I don't know. I never met him. Yeah, so here you are, just fucking. Yep. Deriding a man you've never met. All right, so uh, um, yeah, I I don't know either character well enough to really rank this. Um. I don't think it's great, but I think it's it's fine. It's it's mid. It's funny. Yeah, it is funny. All right, it goes in funny to you. Okay, um, Link versus Cloud two. Link drives up after Cloud drives into a tunnel and they fight. <laughs> it is yeah. basically just the first episode they, with an extra step in front of it. They they show up and fight. 
Batman versus Iron Man. Batman's in the Watchtower listening to his funky tunes when Iron Man shows up and says, yeah, I've been told by the Avengers to take this place down, and Batman's like, they can suck both sides of my ass cheeks. I'm not gonna let you disarm this Watchtower four seconds later. I'm gonna throw this Watchtower <laughs> at you. Disarming this Watchtower is my job, not yours. Uh, Bruce, doesn't throwing this at me and destroying it kind of defeat the whole purpose of why you started fighting me? Is there even a reason for us to continue fighting? Look, I've already thrown it, and now I don't know where to go with this bit. If I don't at least beat you, I'm not gonna feel good about this, so... I've just gotta be honest, I think I threw it to you as a result of just trauma of never being able to play catch with my dad. That, uh... That feels like a poor excuse, honestly. Like, I'm You're not trying to it. say you don't have that trauma. I'm not trying to say that you don't have that trauma, but that, like, I don't know. I feel like throwing a ball to your dad and throwing a, an orbital satellite station at look, someone. Look, look, Tony. It, it's not Tony, exactly the same Tony, thing. The only poor excuse here is you. At being a hero, that is. Boob. How do you feel now? Feelings hurted? Not, not particularly well your body's gonna be in a moment okay Dunk. i mean skip forward into the video buddy let's see who wins <laughs> no wait no 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 do that no i'm dead man <laughs> no dead man's a different guy what, 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 i'm not even batman on the thumbnail of this video okay <laughs> it's literally dick grayson <laughs> it's not bruce wayne don't don't worry about it. I can't that's, believe that that's Iron, Man. Iron Man fucking staring blankly into the camera <laughs> and the Dick Grayson mourning Batman as he becomes the new Batman. <laughs> Iron Man literally showed up in this episode to beat the crap out of Dick, so you know it happens. When are you gonna do a video ranking every death battle where the only thing left is a boot or a foot? <laughs> <laughs> am, am I am I like turning into like the Shafe Rillis of death battle? Where, like, he ranks Star Wars on anything except how good they are, and I rank every death battle on everything except how good they are? Is that who i become now? No, the Shea Frillis of death battle would be Biff. Uh, you're becoming the Watch Mojo. Yeah, I- you should fucking... Watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you- you should fucking commit drink a little bit too much water and get bloated for the rest of the day. That's what you should do. Uh, you should commit have better audio quality, fucker. Yeah, I know I should, but like I, I don't, like, I can't fucking control that. Anyway, Batman Iron Man's basically perfect. That's a basically a perfect intro, uh, and it's not the intro's fault that <laughs> Batman does what he does. Not fucking two minutes later. Goku Black, Goku Black versus, versus Reverse, reverse Flash. Flash. Uh, Eobard is reading a newspaper about how he messed around with Barry, and then Zamasu shows up, and he's like, Mortals! I'm British, and you're all going to die! And Eobard's like, no. <laughs> I still remember when the English dub voice got revealed for Goku Black, and Sean Schemmel was putting on, like, his British accent for some reason. And everybody's like, why is he gay? What is, why does he have a gay <laughs> voice? And it's like, what do you mean, why is he gay? He's British! I remember the fucking base Zamas or base Goku Black like I'm Goku Black, like that. I remember that. I, yeah, because he's like I'm gonna destroy everything you hold dear, and then he fucking goes pink and he's like, look at this marvelous color. Isn't it the greatest thing ever? I fucking hate mortals. Take my pink sword hand. And Vegeta's like, what? What happened to your voice? And then fucking gets impaled. I don't want to hear any shit about voices from you, mister. It's over 9,000! That one line is more memorable than anything about you. That's, that's not even, like, a subjective thing. That is a fact. At least mine comes with power and not my balls dropping just before Frieza drops me. Goku was <laughs> like, at least I'm canon. That line is not... Yeah. Of course, we can't forget the legendary. It's over nine thousand. Uh, it's over nine thousand. <laughs> I I almost find the version where like he just says it's over nine thousand. To be funnier than the like meme one. 
Just because he sounds like he's like annoyed, but he's like, it's not that bad. It's like it's like when, yeah, like, speaking of deliveries, it's so crazy. I have heard almost every official dub of Dragon Ball, every re-recording, every game version of the final flash shout and almost none of them seem to get the right amount of energy it's always either a yeah. final flash or just like a final flash but like for some reason Lenny Pator in Abridged does such a good final flash yeah shout. He, he does it he does so well by far the best one is that is the Abridged shout like not obviously what inspired the way it's said in Fighters Oh, I'm I'm sure. I mean, because like it, he goes I'm full sure final me. flash. Like he does the a proper like actual scream for it. Because like I mean, Vegeta's voice as well used to be a lot more like. I got to a point where I just didn't care anymore. I didn't care about being stronger than Kakura, and it's like it's become a lot less gravelly these days, and a lot closer to like what Lanny has. The same way that um, obviously we had Linda Young Frieza, and then we had little uh, little Karibo do his Frieza which is such a fucking iconic role. And then we had uh, Chris Ayers come in, and, you know, obviously he does, you know, how he interpreted his voice, but it's very, like, clear the inspiration of it yeah. on Kai. Anyway, Zamasu Iabad. It's it's good. It's a good intro. It's funny. I think it fits. Yeah. Um, it's, it's entertaining. And uh, T dies. And you know it's it is it is British tea, and as a Chinese man, I'm okay with British tea dying. What about American tea? What about sweet tea? I don't really care. To be honest, I'm okay with Chinese tea dying too. I I tea is nice, but listen, I'm not gonna cry I, over. I don't tea. even drink tea like that. But as an ambassador, as an ambassador of the South, sweet tea, you gotta have a stance on it. I am more fucking South than you, mate. I am more fucking South on this planet than you are, motherfucker. The southern U.S., not the pits of hell's toilet. I am southern than you. Don't you go ambassador from the south. I'm the fucking ambassador from the south here. You're over in the fucking northwest of me, or northeast, depending on which direction you plan to go. It's it's technically Try either the or. ambassador of a decent fucking bandwidth. Yeah, well, that is quite difficult. That ain't on me though. Yeah, get <laughs> that's on the fact that we've got this stupid yeah, we've got this stupid NBN system that's just like oh. This tiny little box you have no control over, short it out for a bit. Well, now literally all of your communication abilities are gone for like the weekend, dickhead. What a great fucking system. Oh, what's, you know. th what's that? It's summer? Oh, okay, sorry. Your entire <laughs> city your city block is going to fucking melt. Yeah. All right, Dio card. Uh, Alucard shoots and takes out a vehicle and Dio walks out eating my Shiranui and goes, you're... You fucking dick. Alakar's like, yep. did we Did we rank Macho Man, Kool-Aid Man? I think they got swapped around. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Dio card is good. Makes I, sense. My only problem is Alakar's vocal deliveries are... I mean, across the episode, aren't as good as I expected. But, especially at the start. Funny, I was just thinking about having mine. <clears throat> Like, why why you say it like that, mate? Why'd you say it like that? That that's Tell me, do I inspire fear in you? <laughs> Bitch, I eat people. How does Macho Man Kool Aid <laughs> Man even start? We haven't even ranked the card. I'm gonna put the card in good, it would be in perfect but that that one delivery really does throw me off enough. Like it is, it throws me off a lot. Yeah, I'm like, Wah. Macho Man, Kool Aid Man. They they just start fighting. Okay, well, self-explanatory then. Akuma vs Shao Kahn. Uh, Shao Kahn is hosting his tournament in the middle of buttfuck nowhere with no audience. Akuma kills a guy and then Shao Kahn uh, and Akuma fight. A yeah, setup about as dull as the rest of the episode. Yeah, and Akuma's voice is nice at least. It, it fits. I just... Why are they in the middle of buttfuck nowhere desert? Who, who thought this, the setting 
for this episode should be fucking the middle of Africa. The, uh, the, the thing that, that will never not just confuse me is, like, people are like, oh, they go down a console generation when they switch to Oni. And it's like, yeah, and, like, I guess I get wanting to use a, mo a more recent model for Akuma, but if you're going to switch to Street Fighter 4 for Oni anyway, just use Street Fighter 4 Akuma. The model doesn't look bad. And for that matter, the fucking MK11 Shao Kahn is so fucking ugly you just, could have used mk9 use shao Kahn MK9 and it would have looked shao a thousand Kahn, yeah. times better yeah use mk9 shao Kahn and street fighter for akuma and while they wouldn't look perfect at least they would match and it would give that sort of old school fighty vibe a bit better which i think they were trying to go yeah, for with the especially matchup. because it's like street fighter 4 and mk9 were like spearheading the revival of fighting games within the mainstream hmm 